Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing the Transformers Armada Tidal Wave. I'm wondering why are we doing this particular character? Because I wasn't able to do this figure for a long time because I didn't have mini cons to show off the port connections. But now we can actually do it and it's going to be awesome. But before we get on to Tidal Wave himself with the individual modes, we're going to talk about Tidal Wave. He is a Decepticon Titan that turns into three separate vehicles that combine into one robot. And now it's almost a minute. We're going to get down to the video itself. Let's look at Tidal Wave's individual modes. First, we got an aircraft carrier mode with one section. A destroyer mode with another section. A carrier section. And for gimmicks, it has a Decepticon symbol on his foot. But for the gimmick... With this piece, you're going to flip this out, like so, fold the seat down, and there's a real special gimmick. If you put enough Minicons in it, you can have them transported Minicons into battle, which is very cool, very fun, and so much awesome. So first, we're going to get out some MicroMasters, since they're the closest thing I have to Minicon status. going to Put one here, the other one right there in the first, in another seat. I'm going to have to straighten this one out. He doesn't want to seat, seat up correctly. Now we can put two more in the seats. Here's number three. And now number four. Oh, oh man. Look at that. Carrying that many MicroMasters or Minicons into battle. And now that we've shown off that gimmick, there ain't any more gimmicks with these. We're going to get down to transforming Tidal Wave into his robot mode. We're going to start with the leg section. First, we fold up the seats, like so, till they fold up, flip down these to form the legs, flip up the foot, flip up the foot, flip out. The heels. There we got the legs almost ready to go. Accordion this out. Accordion this out. And then you're going to... You're going to rotate. And it's got a ratchet joint, which is so cool, right? Nothing better than old ratchets. You gotta be real careful with these ratchets. They're very breakable in their old age. We will raise the camera when he gets a little bit taller. Next, we put this section in, and there's a port right here that connects into this tab, right there. And then we're going to connect it up. Spin this around. Flip these down, because they're going to become the arms. And he's so tight on my copy. It's so tight, because this is an old action figure. We're going to pull out his robot mode head. Oh, man, that old Decepticon head still looks awesome after all these years. Split the arms like so. Flip down. Rotate the hand. Plug it in, in that, that port right there. Second verse, just like the first. Flip down. Rotate. Make sure the fingers are all properly oriented. Plug it in the port. And there you have Ormata Tidal Wave in all his glory. And man, this is an awesome Titan. To me, it's a Titan from Ormata, and it just looks so cool. But now that we've got him into his robot mode, we're going to get down to connecting all the minicons to him because I don't have any other comparisons dug out and I've already dug this guy out. So let's 
get down to connect in these bots because they almost are close to Minicon scale. So we're going to connect them into Tidal Wave. Start out with the tow truck. If I can get it to plug in. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Trying to get the port connected with the chest region. There you got one powered up Minicon connecting the Tidal Wave. Let's see if we can get another one pegged in the exact same way. It's very cool because these ports can easily adapt to take MicroMasters. So here we got another one connected into Tidal Wave. So we're getting them all powered up. <laughs> so we can transform and power up. Because that is a lot of fun. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Work with me here. I got one that's fussing with me during the transformation. So I'm doing it off camera because it doesn't want to cooperate at the pop yarn loose on one MicroMaster. Come on. Come on. Come on. Peg in. Come on. Come on, baby. Peg in the peg. Sometimes the pegs on some of these are really tight. And here we got another one. Ready to go power up. Let's connect him to the... Not the chest, but the other port right here. Boom. He's got more power. Minicon power. Or MicroMaster power. Now we're going to transform this guy and connect him as the next MicroMaster connected to Tidal Wave. This one's a lot easier, so I can show you this one on camera. camera. Mm. Ooh, ooh. And I just dropped him. <laughs> Whoops. Now we're going to peg him in right there. And now we get to peg another one. We'll peg this one on his, on Tidal Wave's chest here. Boom, he's got some chest power. And now we got another one to transform and connect to him. I love that these are close to Minicon scale and they can actually work with these vintage, older figures. And here we got the last one. We're going to connect it right there. If I can get it to connect to the port. Come on, come on. And there we go. He's almost powered up. One more Minicon. We can connect this to a shoulder. So we got room right on his shoulder here. Give him more power. I have ultimate power. Ultimate power for Tidal Wave. It works well in his chest and would have worked his gimmick, but his gimmick is so old, it's really tight and I don't want to break it. And yeah, this is a cool looking figure. Fact is, these newer figures can actually work with him, which is pretty cool. And now we can show off the Minicon gimmick with all these MicroMasters. Because they have the same ports designs, almost like Minicons. Shame we don't have any more to just give him more. But other than that, he is all super powered out. Ready to go blast some Autobots. Is or Tidal Wave worth adding to your collection? Yes, he is so awesome. And the head and paint sculpt on this is really good. I, I dig the purple. I dig the green on this guy. Highly recommend this to any Transformers or Mata fan. I'm definitely looking forward to picking up some more of these if I can find more or Mata toys. But other than that, this is just an awesome figure. Highly recommend this. This is so much fun. And it's compatible with other newer, newer, slight newer lines that will connect with his Minicon ports. But yeah, these MicroMasters do well for Minicon connections. And this is Eddie Hill's review of Armada Tidal Wave. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.